Hello, welcome to your weekly stole print. Pick your crystal reading for March 17th through the 23rd. Alrighty. So today we've got green, we've got cream, and we've got blue. All right, just take a moment, see which crystal or crystals appeal to you. While you're doing that, I'm just going to remind everybody that if you're interested in a private reading, if you go into the drop box below, there's an email address, soulprint888 at gmail.com. You can just send me out a quick little email asking for reading information, and I will send you everything you need to know. All right, so green, cream, blue. Perhaps more than one is attracting your eye, and that's perfectly perfectly fine too. Here we go. Okay. King sort. The fool. The ace of pentacles. Five of wands. Okay, now, when we're looking at the King of Swords, we tend to think about um, something connected to the law or government, something that has to do with you know, power, conflicts, um, ambitions, that, that kind of energy. And you have a strong energy here. It may be male, um, it may not, but it's definitely a firm, strong, focused energy. Interesting cards. So following the King of Swords, you have the Fool. Okay, so the Fool is about new beginnings, new starts. It's also about, you know, not jumping into the swimming pool until you've made sure there's water in the pool. It's about being careful and cautious, but also... Not being afraid to take, a, a, you know, a new start, make a new start, a new challenge. Ace of Pentacles is about the beginnings of um, success. It can be the beginning of a, a successful adventure. It can be a, a document sometimes. It can be a gift. It It is about, you know, possessions, money, security, assets, that kind of stuff. And the Five of Wands energy is just sort of like conflict and quarreling, and maybe there's some competition and some bickering going back and forth. This is not like a card of, um, you know, war. Okay? This is about bickering and, 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 you know, kind of snarky comments and, and that kind of energy. So as I'm looking at this, one of the things that comes to mind is some sort of a legal negotiation that has to do with assets. Could these assets or the sale of them or the receiving of them create for you a new start or a new beginning? Are you one of the people who is having to make some of these, you know, legal decisions? And are you putting up with, um, you know, comments, etc., from families? Um, you know, they're... <sighs> There is nothing like trying to settle an estate or to disperse assets that brings out the cranky in people. So it's very possible that you may be trying to sort through some sort of a family monetary situation and, you know, everybody has an opinion. Ultimately, the cards are powerful enough and positive enough that it will come to pass. It will Things will unfold as they should. There is that sense of having um, some sort of a, a legal element to this. Assets, money, possessions. The Five of Wands is not serious. It may mean that you may have to look at things kind of in a new way. It may be that you have to sort of take a little bit of a, a leap of faith that um, somebody's going to do the right thing or their judgment is, is sound. But ultimately, whatever this is about, it really does feel as if it's going to end up working out just fine. But be mindful of the fact that whenever you find yourself in a situation that has money and assets, 
and the law and legal document. You need to be mindful. You need to be careful. You, you don't jump without looking at what's in the document. You don't just sign away whatever. I know that very often people have opinions and heaven help us all, they like to share them. So, so the five of wands, like I said, this isn't a war, this is bickering, this is quarreling, this is snarky comments. So if that kind of energy is going on around you, just remember this. Remember that you have three really strong, powerful cards here and they are going to see you through whatever the situation is. All right, and cream. Okay. Ten of Wands. Gustus. Knight of Swords. And the Star. All righty. Two higher Arcana cards here. So you are starting off with a card that just reminds you that there is light at the end of the tunnel that things are going to work out, that, you know, you're going to get to the end of this challenge. Do not give up. This could be like the final push. You, you know, you can see the light up there. There has been a lot on your plate, a lot that you have been taking care of. Perhaps you have feel that you have been overburdened um, and are trying to work through a situation You've got Justice here and the Knight of Swords. And so this is, to me, talking about, again, some sort of a legal um, documentation, something having to do with the settlement of something, the law of something. Sometimes justice can just be about balancing, right? Finding the balance within a situation. Sometimes the Knight of Swords can move very, very quickly. And so things can become a little kind of crazy in the short term. But because you have the star as the final card, it really, really does look like whatever, you know, we're trying to accomplish ultimately ends up getting accomplished. There ultimately ends up being um a, you know, a successful end, a happy ending. So a wish coming true. So yes, things might be hard right now. You may just still be in this period of, of stress and anxiety and worry and, you know, all kinds of stuff you're trying to deal with. But know that there is a positive and frankly healthy, happy outcome from this. Justice assures you that things are going to end up being balanced. They're going to end up being just. I caution you to always remember that sometimes what we think is just and sometimes what is in fact just whether that is karmically just or in any other way, may not always be the same thing. But when things start moving quickly, it's important that you hold on to your focus, hold on to where you're trying to get to, to the goal, to the dream, to the accomplishment, and know that you will move through this difficult time, this time of balancing, and you're ultimately going to get to where you need to go with what you need, you know, in your hands when you get there. So it looks like this is going to be a little bit of a challenging week, but it also looks like you're going to have kind of a nice resolution towards the end of it. And here we go. And the blue. Okay. So nine of pentacles. Six of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Cups. So this is about money and emotions, right? Assets, feelings, emotions. Alrighty. So again, the Nine of Pentacles is a card that has to do with financial security, um, with success. Um, very often it sort of represents a card of luxury, um, card of having what you need. 
and being comfortable with it. Six of Cups. This is about the time before. It's about, you know, yesterday. It's about, um, you know, times before now. It's about memories from the past. It's about um, old friends, sometimes an old love. But it is about a reflection. Of, it, it's a reflection from time before, okay? So perhaps you're connecting with somebody that you haven't seen in a while. Perhaps your memories are just gone there. Or perhaps something that was committed to in the past has now come to a place where you need to, um, you know, kind of do the work to get things sorted out and moving forward. You know, the Eight of Pentacles sometimes can be about a new job, money-making adventures, um, you know, using a existing talent you have in a way that helps produce um, an income, a revenue for you. The Page of Cups, bless your sweet little heart, she just always brings happy news. You know, she just brings good news. She brings assurance and reassurance that things are going to turn out just fine. So as we look at these cards, it's sort of an interesting message or story. Because they're talking about starting from a place where there is a sense of, of comfort, um, starting from a place where You know, nobody has every single thing they want, but when we have what we need on a day-by-day -day basis, we have enough. Are you thinking about times past? Are you going to be connecting with somebody from your past or somebody you haven't seen for a while? Is there perhaps something that you're getting together with friends you haven't seen for a while and there's a job to be due or, you know, something that needs to get accomplished? Heck, for all I know, you guys could be, you know, um, getting together with old friends and maybe you're you're planning some sort of a reunion or, a, you know, some sort of an event. The Page of, the page of Cups is here to say it's all going to work out. It's all going to be fine. It's going to take some work and some focus. Stepping back into the past, it's going to be comfortable. It's going to be reassuring in some ways. It's going to bring back happy times and good memories, good friendships. And remember, as you're going through this process, that ultimately, you start from a place of security and comfort. You start from a position where, you know, there's sort of a, 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 a sense that you are kind of okay where you're at, you know? You have what you need today and probably tomorrow, and really, that's all you need to worry about. Whatever this is, I'm really liking it. You know, it, it could be possible that somebody from your past is going to come into your life and help you finish a goal, help you complete a project, um, bring some skill or some talent to you that can be really, really helpful to you. But as this unfolds, these are all really nice energies. The cards are a really nice balance of happy energy. So whatever this is about, enjoy the week, enjoy the period of time, and recognize that it's all going to be great at the end. All right. So, again, thank you so very, very much for being here at Soul Print. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.